Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Detention. Last episode, we opened up these two double doors right here. We figured out that puzzle like a boss. Now we are going to enter through this area. So everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because we all got some detention. And not the bad detention that the teacher gives you and makes you do your homework while you're all quiet. This is the scary-ass detention where we're trying to figure out what's going on. And there's a lantern guy right here. So once he gets closer, I am going to hold my breath. One, two, three, four, bam! There you go. And then he's gonna come over here. He's gonna smell my head like a pervert. Yes, it's herbal essence. I know, it smells great. It smells delightful. Can you hurry up, please? I'm gonna run out of breath. Please, 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 please. All right, get the fuck out of here. Go! Yes! We escaped Raiden from Mortal Kombat's brother. Now we're in this weird Japanese looking alleyway. I wish I knew what these symbols said. We can look at it though. A metal door inside. There might be another way around. Oh, I wanna know what these say. Uh, I guess we'll never know. Anyone who can read this language, please post it in the comments below. I would love to know what that says. We are gonna check out this place. I'm still trying to figure out what the story is, guys. Like, this girl and the guy Wei I don't understand what's going on. Maybe she's like in some spirit world. Maybe this isn't really the school. Of course it's not because she keeps going from place to place. So I'm trying to decipher the story because right now I'm kind of confused, but it's amazing to play. It's really addicting. In the middle of the room hangs a birdcage. A puppet lies locked inside. It's got a hood on. I've never seen this style before. It's called Sack Hood. It's got a sack on his forehead. And here's a piano. Let's play a little tune. Okay, 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 okay. Remix. Okay, I think I have to figure out a tune here. And I can't play the black keys. I think this piano is racist. So these ones that don't have anything on it don't play anything at all. You guys see that? You can't even click on these. So I think this... Yeah, these five are the only ones you could play. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to play. But we now know that there's a piano here and a bird cage with a doll with a sack on its head. And there's something over here. It's mostly used as a testing center though. What? We have music class scheduled every semester. So I need to figure out a clue or I need to find a clue that tells me something about the piano. Let's go further down here. Let's see if any spooky shit is over here. There's a tea bag. The hallway light switch. Okay, it's a light switch, not a tea bag. Can we turn it on? Nope, cannot turn that on. Even though the light is already on. What's this? The broadcasting room. There are some playback devices inside. Oh, maybe I can find a reel for the for the film reel. Yeah, this is what I need. A large eight track player. It's usually used for school broadcasts. The power's connected. Do I just need to stick an 8-track tape in? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Either way, I do not have one. This should be used to switch tracks. Each tape usually has four tracks recorded on it. Can I say anything in here? No, I can't say anything in the microphone. Testing, testing. What the fuck? There's some faces in here. A tree's grown through the wall. There are leaves all over the room. Moss grows on the door and windows. Yeah, there's faces right here. Look. What the heck? That's weird. I see one, two, three, four faces on the tree. Do they see me though? Hi guys. On the table are some broadcasting equipment. The speakers are emitting a small staticky sound. You can almost hear whispering. Maybe it is whispering. It sounds super creepy. So I need to find an 8-track, a film reel, and I need to find something that can play the piano. I gotta find a lot of things over here. Uh, where the fuck am I? Oh, this is a nice dragon though. This is a nice graffiti dragon. What the hell is that? The scene. Is it trying to remind me of something? You see this noise right here? That reminds me of Silent Hill. A pair of mannequin hands. Is it a setup for the puppet play? I don't know, but those hands are freaking me the fuck out, so we're gonna get out of here. We are gonna keep moving down. I'm gonna try to see if I can click anything on the screen because sometimes you might find something here. See, look, found something in the tree. Seems like there's something stuck inside the tree. We'll pull that bitch out. A track tape, yes! That's exactly what I needed. 
Eight track tape found under the tree containing four tracks. This one is labeled prohibited. The contents are probably censored. Ooh, you guys know I love my censored shit, so we're gonna check that out. Is there anything back here? Nope, it's just a dead end. And she's going. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back over here. Let's go back and see what this eight track has inside. Before I go back and use the eight track, there's another door over here that I can go into. The door's been unlocked. Does it connect to the place we were at before? Yes, it does. Remember, this door right here was locked, and I couldn't go in, but now I can. So I don't even need to go through that big double door. Oh, shit. Somebody turned the lights off. Who did that? Who turned the lights off? I'm still in here, buddy. Where's that light switch? Oh, God. This is creepy. Turn this shit back on. Oh, fuck! Oh, God. Don't jump scare me. Don't jump scare me, how do I- Oh, fuck! Okay. Holy crap! Lantern guy, lantern guy! You're not gonna shine that light on us, you sick pervert always smelling my hair. Go inside here. Alright, let's drag this shit in here. Is this like a school anthem? Can I get some subtitles, please? Let's switch to the third one. <laughs> what are they talking about, guys? <laughs> Piano. Piano music. Play it, play it, play it, play it, play it! How am I going to figure that out? How am I going to remember that? Okay, let me hear it one more time. Okay, let me get a notebook or something. I'm going to count how many notes it takes to play this tune. Okay, so you guys see right here? I put a mark on the paper every time I heard it play a note. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine total notes, three low, one high. So that's three low notes, one high notes. Fifth note is the same as the fourth note. Fifth note, same as fourth. And then it descends in the pitch. So the pitch descends on the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth note. Okay, so this is what I have here. Nine total notes, three low notes ascending to a high note. The fourth note is the highest note. The note after that is the same note, and then it descends back into where it started. Does that make sense? That's what I wrote, because I can't really know the keys. I used to play piano before, but obviously I don't know the sound and correlate it with the notes, but I'm gonna try my hardest, okay? So can I take the tape? Can I have the tape, please? No? Okay, Never mind. I'm gonna back out of here. Hopefully the lantern guy's not out there, but who am I kidding? Of course he's gonna be out there, right? You out here, buddy? Where you at, bruh? Uh, lantern guy? You in here, buddy? I don't know where he went. Maybe he said, fuck this. It's still playing the piano, though. That's cool. So let's see here. I'm gonna try to use my notes. Because I wrote them. Don't want to waste some good notes. So. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, okay, so this is the first three. Wait. Yes! Fuck yeah! <laughs> High five, guys! That was freaking awesome! A metal sound comes from somewhere in the room! Holy crap, we did it! Oh, shit! Holy fuck! Thank you! Thank you, guys! What a great audience! What a fabulous audience. Please, never do that again. That was fucking creepy. The cage door is open. Inside is a puppet. Take it out or leave. Okay, you know what, guys? I was thinking, because last episode, it gives you the option to take things out or leave it. I feel like there's a consequence to taking these things 
and there's also a consequence to leaving it. Obviously, because everything you do has a consequence. Every action has a reaction. So I feel like taking it out would be messing with something in the story, and I feel like leaving it would get you towards to a good ending. But I don't know what this story's about. It's so confusing. Obviously, I think this girl is troubled with her school. Like, I think she's a really good student that's having, like, family problems, and she doesn't know what to do after graduating because... I don't know, I'm trying to still figure out the story, but I feel like if we take these things, like, you know how we took the incense candles, we took the incense burners? I feel like we're going towards a bad ending, don't you guys think? That's what I'm trying to get from the story, but should we take this puppet or not? The thing is though, if I take the puppet, where do I put it? Do I put it where the plate is outside? You know what, I think I do, so I'm gonna take the puppet. Oh, goodness! Get that creepy ass hand away from me! What kind of hand is that? It's all fucked up with raggedy fingers. Get that smelly ass hand away from me, buddy. Let me look at that hand real quick. A detached twisted hand. Fingerprints completely rubbed off. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna go outside now. That was a creepy ass audience, by the way. They're all clapping and their heads were all shaking like... I didn't like that. I thought that was very, very creepy. But I think we gotta put this puppet hand at the stage or on the stage where the plate is so let me keep going and yes i keep moving her slowly because i'm a scared little bitch i know i'll admit it i'm a little pussy put the puppet right here in this hand and i need something else for the other hand a pair of mannequin hands is it a setup for the puppet play where am i gonna find the other thing do i give it this this doesn't do anything so i need one more puppet where am I gonna find that? Uh, hold on. I'm trying to think here. Oh, the film reel! Yeah, I need to find another one of those. So, let's go in here, and let's see if we can find something that I missed. What's that noise? That doesn't sound good. This goes up to the roof. The gate's locked. Do I have a key? Can we use that? This doesn't do anything? Well, fuck! Sorry! Now I gotta find a key? Where the hell am I gonna find that? I think everything has to do with that film reel. Maybe when I get it to work, then I can get a key, or I can get another puppet, or I can get something. Can this guy be a puppet? This dude with the bag over his head? He looks like the sack head guy. What about this guy? A kneeling figure, there's some blood on its hood. I can't bring him and put him on that hand? No, that's not a thing I could do. Can I get these incense burners back, please? I do as mom does with incense in hand. Okay. Never mind. What about this door? Wasn't it locked before? It's locked. Still locked? How do I unlock this? So many questions. So little answers. There's a phone right here. I remember last time we were on the phone, something spooky happened. Better not happen again. What's up? Oh, I need to actually dial a phone number? Okay. Fa. Fa. Fa, fo, na, one, fa. Yeah. No. Okay, I need to figure out a phone number because I don't even know who the fuck I'm calling. Who am I calling right now? Any eight tracks in here? Not eight tracks. Any film reels? The cabinet looks familiar. There's a key inside. Roof key. Yay! We're going to the roof. The roof is where we're going. We're going to the roof. The roof is where I'm hoeing. This goes up to the roof. The gate's locked. Not anymore. Hell yeah. I guess they couldn't animate the door opening, so they needed to go to a black screen. Whoa, whoa, who the fuck is that? Hey, who was that? Who that over there? There was some dude running. Was that way? Oh, oh shit. Did he jump off? Holy crap. Bloodstained film. Dude, why would you do that? Why the fuck would you do that? That's a long way down, dude. Crazy ass bitch. Okay. Here we go. Blood stained film reel. I wonder what's contained in this film. Well, we're gonna find out right about now, baby. Let's see. Let's get out of here. I bet you there's gonna be a jump scare as soon as I get out of this room. No? Okay. Yay. Thanks for not being a little jump scare cheapy cheap. Really, nigga? Cheapy cheap? What does that even mean? 025. 
One, two, one. Let me write that down. Zero, two, five, one, two, one. That's it. Zero, two, five, one, two, one. I think that's what I need to dial when I was in the room with the telephone. So let's head over there right now. I wonder why there was blood stained on that though. That's just the phone number, right? Why would there be blood on that? Unless whatever I call or whoever picks up that phone when I dial that is some mysterious... Wait, why is the... Why is the... Okay. I was gonna say, why is the screen flickering like that? It's just the lights. I'm being paranoid, guys. That's usually what happens when you're scared, though. You start to get paranoid about things that you normally wouldn't be paranoid about. Ah! My nose is itchy. Ah, okay. Let's go out through here. Alright. So, pick up the phone. And then dial... Zero... Two... Five... One... Two... One. Miss Fang, your country appreciates your assistance. My assistance for what? What did I do? And that's it. What's left is only the dial tone. What? My assistance? Oh shit. What happened, girl? Whoa! Oh, that guy's back. He wants that booty! Don't open the door. Oh shit, he's trying to get in! Nobody's home! Nobody's home, go away! He's gone. He took the hint. He heard me say nobody's home. So he left. Thank goodness. That was weird. Appreciates your assistance, what did she do? She must have done something bad because she was very... She was very like distraught about it. And there's another puppet right here. Military police puppets. Okay, so now we can place this bad boy on the stage and we should be good to go. Are any more eyes gonna look at me? You gonna check me out? You gonna watch me strut my stuff? Yeah, you are? Okay, get a good look because you're never gonna see it again, you sickos. Yeah, take a good peek. Man, this game sucks you into their world and you're so immersed in here that you start to get freaked out by every little noise. The ambience in this game is perfect, by the way. Let's place this on that hand. Okay. A key fell out of the puppet's body. Basement key. I know exactly where to put this, so let's head there right now. Can we grab the doll? I didn't think a real bullet would come out of that gun. Yeah, I didn't think real blood would come out of that puppet. There's even the smell of gunpowder. So let me get this straight. I remember in the beginning of the game, there was that authority figure that walked in and is that supposed to be that guy, that puppet? He shot somebody. Did she see something she wasn't supposed to see? Because when she made that phone call, somebody said, uh, we appreciate your assistance. Maybe the girl we're playing as said something. Maybe she was a little snitch and she said something. Cause that's what I'm getting from this. I'm really trying to piece together everything that's going on, but let's check out the basement and find out more that we can, because this is really interesting. I'm really trying to figure out the story here because I don't want to just go through the game and just go from the beginning to the end. I really want to see what this story is all about. Here we go. This is where we need to use the key. Blam! The door's been unlocked. Good. Uh... Is this like a tunnel? Because there's like these portable lights over here. That's usually where you use these kind of light bulbs is in like a tunnel system. Wei and Ray. Wei, thanks for doing this for me. Not at all. I'm always willing to help if you ask. Though I'm sorry to have to drag you all the way here to my classroom. It's okay. My classroom has individual studies now. It'd be a bother if we were there. You're sure nobody else knows about these meetings, right? Of course, miss. Absolutely not. One thing, though. This book list is quite sensitive in material. Please be careful with it. 
Yes, thanks for the reminder. I know reading these books could be trouble, but it should be our freedom to pursue knowledge, right? Yeah, I'm with you on that. In fact, I think Miss Yin also said something like that before. I think you're just like her. You're both courageous and talented. You think we're alike? I can't compare it to her anyways. She's the principal's daughter, and they're known to be a family of successful scholars. It's okay. I believe she thinks highly of you. I remember she gave your work a nice compliment once. She said, strengthen thy wings, the sky's the limit. I remember that quote. When she picked up an item, it said that same exact thing. She really said something like that? Hey, let me ask you a question. I see Miss Yin and Mr. Chang chat a lot. Do you maybe know what kind of relationship they have? I thought Wei and Ray didn't know each other. A paper bag left behind by Wei. Book club reading list. Why is it a gun? I've been weak, but you once told me the pen is mightier than the gun. Who was that? I heard a door unlock. We're back in the school though. That's cool. No, no we're not. We're somewhere else. I think this is where the eyes were looking at me. And now Wei is walking very slow. I can't run with her anymore. It's okay, just make it over there, girl. Just find the strength to make it in this door. There you go. Good job. Ooh. Reflections in video games, especially in scary games. It's never a good sign. Miss Yin? Wait, look at the reflection. It's the puppet with the paper bag over its head. What are you doing over here? As a teacher, I always show concern for students who are a little rebellious. Remember what you did? What? Have you forgotten? Or do you not want to remember? You. Just a harmless piece of paper, right? Instead, I had to die. He had to die. And many other students had to die. Was it you? You just keep causing me trouble! You're driving me crazy! Sometimes when you trip up, you're never able to get back up again. How dare you! This is all because of you! You ruined everything! If you had a problem, why couldn't you have come talk to me instead? Shut up! If you were gone, none of this would have happened! Whoa. What the hell? Okay, so let me get this straight. So you know how Wei and Ray were talking about a piece of paper. Pen is mightier than the gun. Maybe she had some information on Miss Yin, told that authority figure, and that puppet show, that was the result of what happened when Ray talked to that guy. Miss Yin ended up dying because of it, and I think that she feels guilty. I don't know. I don't know if I'm on the right track, but I feel like something like that's going on. I think I'm starting to piece together what this story's cooking. It's a little smoky over here. <laughs> the smoke is so thick. <laughs> Whoa. It's a giant statue. It looks like a Buddha. Justice Chang Huang. Mom likes to bring all her worries and concerns to you. Something I think is fruitless. But... Sometimes there's no one else to look to for help. My hands together in silent prayer. Here are my questions. I, Feng Rei Shin, invoke your guidance. Ask about love. Ask about prospects. Ask about family. Let's ask about love. Can we only ask one question? Will I be able to live a simple life with loved ones and family? Hell no. Yin Po, the crying answer. Do not seek what cannot be. Ah, this was just a humble request. You can be so cruel. Then I also ask, 
Family. Will my parents who quarrel and fight have a second chance together? Hell no. Yang Po, the laughing answer. You cannot cry over spilt milk, is that so? But that was my family. My mom and that person, we used to smile and laugh together. I also ask about prospects. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter because you can ask all three questions. Will I be able to live life by my choices and follow my heart down my own path? Hell no. Yang Po, the laughing answer. So I can only face reality obediently and wait until God knows when. Do I have any other choice? Do I ask for too much? Is life just a never-ending bitterness? Or is it all just me? Stop asking questions! Divine answer. So, it is because of me. I really like the soundtrack. It makes me feel relaxed. I feel good inside. Youth is hardly ever given a choice. Push through the grind until their innocence fades away. I become a wooden horse on the carousel of life, a jumbled mess of lifeless emotion. Infused with frantic energy, I spin ever faster. Okay guys, I think now is a good time to end this episode. I know, I know, it was getting good, you were so into it, I was too, but I don't want this episode to go on for too long. If you guys want to see the next episode as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!